PASTO, uh, two of our key strategic objectives are protecting climate and also safeguarding rural communities. And a lot of our properties are located in rural areas where people don't have access to the gas network. Ground source heat pumps provide an efficient and affordable alternative to um, conventional heating such as storage heaters and open fires. Ground source heat pumps uh, are a good uh, environmental option because they use renewable uh, heat that's stored underground um, and they use a small amount of electricity to pump the heat around the system uh, whereas um, conventional systems actually use the uh, energy to create heat uh, and they often give a 400% efficiency. So in fact, uh, every four kilowatts of uh, heat that's generated only use one kilowatt of electricity to uh, pump the heat around the system. In many cases, by installing a ground source heat pump, uh, a property's carbon emissions can be reduced, particularly when compared to a conventional heating system that uses electricity or solid fuel. Ground source heat pumps are a very well established type of heating system and they're very well uh, used in Scandinavia. At Hasto we've been uh, fitting oh, several hundred uh, both in new homes and retrofitting into existing properties and we use a very high quality heat pump so that they're very reliable and the feedback we've had from residents has been really positive. People have reported that the homes are very comfortable, um, that they give a very nice even level of heat throughout the home, avoid cold spots which can be a problem with some heating systems, particularly storage heaters, and also people are saying that they are very affordable. The way a ground source heat pump works is by taking low grade heat from the ground, converting it through the refrigerant process into a usable heat to heat your homes. The way they're installed uh, in, in most properties, or certainly for Hasto, will be by drilling a borehole in the garden. Generally that's around 90 metres deep. So that is, consists of a ground loop pipe which has a fusion welded U-bend at the bottom of it. And what that does, that circulates a water antifreeze mixture, a food friendly antifreeze, that actually collects the heat that's stored in the ground. One of the things that people need to get used to is the way that ground source heat pumps work differently than that of conventional heating. The first thing is the radiators don't get scalding hot. So that's one of the first things that people have to get used to is the fact that the radiators may not be hot, but the properties are nice and warm and comfortable. Some of the main benefits I think that people who, who have these systems is very much a, a fit and forget system. Once it's in, it's installed, it can be set up, the resident will control it, they adjust their settings, but it is very much forget it. It's a system that's controlled by temperature, so it comes on when it's cold, not just because it's a particular time. When the systems are installed, Generally, the way that they have to be done is downstairs, you can use the radiators hanging on the wall. Upstairs, they may need to lift the carpets back to actually get access underneath the floor, but then put them back. Part of the process for installing ground source heat pumps is to actually block up any open fires or flues that are there. One of the main reasons is this is a big uh, access for warm air escaping. And if warm air is escaping, somebody's got to pay to put it back. Generally, it's, it's better to block up. Uh, you can put a, a feature fire there for people like a focal point in their rooms. Generally, the feedback that I get from tenants who have had this type of system installed is one of great pleasure. It seems strange to th that they all say how good the system is. It's almost as if we were related to each other, but we're not. But everybody seems to have, have glowing things to say about it. If they listen to the system, uh, work with the system, have the system set up properly, and they work with it, they get good results. I had storage heaters which I thought were absolute rubbish compared with what I've got now. When I had the storage heaters in the evenings I was sitting with hot water bottles to try and keep warm. Um, but now I just don't bother. I mean I'm warm, I can go and have a shower and come and sit in here in my pyjamas and the whole house is warm. So far, it's running pretty cheap, in my mind. I'd say 20% cheaper than what I have been paying. It was put in on the February the 13th, 2012, and they took three days actually to do all the work. Um, then they came back on the Friday and switched it over to the underground system. The drilling outside actually didn't affect me at all. 
they just got on with their work. Well, it kept me busy. I made them cups of coffee and took out because it was cold out there. I felt sorry for them. This is, I'm going to say, 100% better than storage heaters. Well, come six o'clock, we hadn't have eaten. Then we'd light the wood burner, or the wood burner would still be alight. So it's 30 pound a fortnight coal on top of our storage heaters, which was a big, so yeah, that's benefited us big time. That's no more dust, no more dirt. It's like brilliant. <laughs> the blokes who come here were really good. They were clean, couldn't fault anything. And the best, best group of workmen we've ever had. <laughs> they, were, they were really good. Yeah, cleaned up every night. When they first done it, you could see it because we had no grass and what have you and that, but we just put seeds down and by the next spring, it'd all come. You wouldn't even know, apart from the bit down the driveway where they've actually drilled the concrete, you wouldn't even know they'd been there. Cost, I don't even think cost comes into it now. It's, you don't even think about it because it's not that expensive. Do you know what I mean? If I was paying 40, 50 pound a week, I'd be like, oh, but we're not. You know, I, we've got electric back, key meter and I put £80 a month in there and that is the heating, all our electric and it's lasting I say, six, seven weeks, even now and we're in October, you know, so you can't beat that. Heat pumps are a reliable and efficient alternative where people aren't on the gas network and we are looking to retrofit where we can, although not every property is suitable, although most we have found are suitable. Um, we are also uh, very grateful that we've been able to access funds from DEX RHPP Social Landlord Competition Fund, which has helped us with the financing of the retrofit programme. We think that ground source heat pumps are a very good, uh, efficient alternative, but we've been really pleased to get really positive feedback from our residents, and it's, at the end of the day, it's what they think that really matters. I would recommend it to other people as myself. I find it absolutely brilliant. I'm much more warmer, I'm much more cosier. The house is better. Um, I can't praise it enough, it really is good. Get them storage eaters out and get this put in. <laughs> It'll be the best thing you've ever done. <laughs>